Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. Today, I'm sharing with you my new Villa Beautiful pens. Let's take a look. Alrighty, so the two pens that I started out with are the Flat White. Um, this is part of the new release, the Cafe Villa Beautiful release that um, also includes a mocha, a cappuccino, and an espresso. All of them are really pretty colors. And then this one is the Gelato. Um, I decided to pick this one up because I um, follow Laura Plansett on YouTube and on Instagram, and she's always raving about her Gelato Villa Beautiful pen. So I thought, well, let's give that one a try. I'll check it out. All right, so um, this one, the flat white was $10.50 on their website and Gelato was $8.25. So I know just kind of starting out, that's kind of a hefty price uh, for a pen for, for someone like me who's used to buying like disposable um, pens at Office Depot or at Target. Um, so this was kind of an investment for me. But when I thought about it, um, when you get your pen, there's an ink cartridge already inside of it. It comes with black. And then each pen comes with a black refill. Um, and so that kind of increased the value proposition for me because um, you kind of get basically two cartridges with your pen. Um, and I had to remind myself, this is not a disposable pen. It's obviously reusable and they are gorgeous. Look at this beautiful color. Um, I love that the flat white, it's actually very creamy in color. You can see the Villa Beautiful logo, kind of blurry, sorry, um, is painted in white. Um, this kind of has like a, a painted enamel fill and the crystals in this are just gorgeous. There's a little slight bit of blush, kind of an amber, kind of goldish color. And I love it. The gold hardware is wonderful. Um, the gelato, I love. Again, it's kind of got like a, a, a blush kind of tone to it. Um, you can see the Villa Beautiful logo there in gray. And then this, of course, has silver hardware, as you can see. And the crystals, again, there's kind of like a slight seafoam. Oh, there we go. Kind of like a slight seafoam color in there. Um, and then some pinks and then kind of like a maybe like a, a peach or a rose gold kind of color. I mean, they just sparkle. It's so beautiful. And I'm quite taken by these pens. I'm so glad that um, I splurged on this. Um, part of what held me back for a while was that I'm a blue ink girl. Um, I really don't like writing with black ink. Um, blue just tends to stand out to my eye. I tend to retain um, what I'm reading in blue ink better than I do black. And so what made me kind of take the leap was they actually now have um, blue ink refills. I don't think that they've always had blue ink for these pens. I think this is somewhat new, at least it's new to me. Um, and so I, when I purchased the pens, I immediately also purchased um, a bunch of the refills so that I could swap the ink out right away. Um, these refills are only a dollar. So um, it's pretty cool. I got, I got several. And so I've already switched my pens out um, and there's a video on their website that um, shows you how to properly decap the pen because um, because they're painted. Um, if you use both hands to pull it apart, you don't really want to twist because as you can see the gold hardware here, you don't want to scratch that. And inside the cap, they talk about how it's the exposed metal in there. You don't want that scratching um, um, your enamel or your um, gold on your on your barrel there so you just you want to pull it apart and then it's really easy this just unscrews and the ink barrels right there so um as you can see i switched them out to blue like i said kind of right away so that's easy enough the other thing that i have to make sure is anytime i have a pen with a cap the first thing i want to do is stick the cap on the end of the pen so i don't lose the cap um but you also don't want to do that because again this is painted and you don't want that um exposed metal scratching the end of your pen. So I have to make sure that I set the cap down and that I put it somewhere where I'm not gonna lose it. So that's kind of a new little learning curve, but they're so beautiful, it's worth it to me. Um, it does have a 0.5 tip. Um, and so it's it actually writes like the fine tool um, if you've never had a pen, uh, one of these Villa Beautiful pens. And so um, let me show you, I think, it's a little bit maybe scratchier than a, a tool, but it's not bad. So this is a plum paper notebook. So it's a smoother, finer paper. And you can just kind of see um, it's got a nice fine line. Um, I usually like to write with a medium 
point pen, um, something like maybe a, a point 0.7, um, but I plan in a um, vertical planner. And so my handwriting's kind of big, as you can see. So in order to get everything to fit, um, I have to go to a more finer pen. So it works, it writes really nicely on the plum paper. I think though, it writes just a little bit better. This is an EC notebook. And for some reason, I think the paper with a little bit of tooth to it, I think the ink just kind of flows out of the pen and the paper kind of grabs the ink a little bit better um, on the EC paper. But either way, I think they're fine. Um, it's it's a really nice pen, it writes really well. Um, so what else can I tell you about these pens? Um, I think that's about it. I love them. Um, yeah. So these are my first two. I'm saying first two because I can see myself totally collecting more. The colors are beautiful. As a matter of fact, um, my youngest daughter, who's 15, saw these pens and was like, oh, mom, I like those. So she went online and she saw a couple colors that she likes. So maybe one will show up in her stocking this Christmas. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime I post new content. Thanks, take care, bye-bye.